Hello friends, this video on perimeter and area part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 4. A circular flower garden has an area of 314 meters square. A sprinkler at the center of the garden can cover an area that has a radius of 12 meters. Will the sprinkler water the entire garden? Let, let's again make use of a diagram to understand the problem. So let's say that there is a circular flower garden, something of this sort, okay? And the total area of this flower garden is given as 314 meters square. So area of the garden is 314 meters square. A sprinkler at the center of the garden, so you have a sprinkler here, at the center of the garden and the sprinkler what what does a sprinkler do a sprinkler spreads water you know it gives water to the plants which is there in the garden so it is located at the center and this sprinkler can cover an area that has a radius of 12 meters right so now we have to find out how much area does the sprinkler covers because only the radius of the area is given. So area that sprinkler covers would be pi r square and r is given as 12 meters. Too. So pi, pi into 12 into 12 that is 144 into 3.14 which is equal to 452.16 meters square. So this is the area that the sprinkler covers. Now when you look at it, you see this is the area. Area of the garden is 314 meters. Sprinkler is located at the center. That means the sprinkler would also sprinkle water equally in all direction. Now as per our calculation, the water, the, the area that the sprinkler would cover is 452.16 meters square, which is a larger area than that of the garden. So the sprinkler can, the water from the sprinkler can actually reach even outside the garden. So the question is, will the sprinkler water the entire garden? Yes, of course, it will water the entire garden. That's because its water is capable of reaching even beyond the garden. So obviously it, it will be able to sprinkle the entire garden. Question number five. How many times a wheel of radius 28 centimeters must rotate to go 352 meters? Okay, so when you look at a wheel, this is a wheel. So when you look at this wheel, how does the wheel rotate? Now let's say, now as we, I mentioned before, so one complete rotation of the wheel would, would actually mean the circumference of the wheel. That is one complete rotation. So one complete rotation. What does that actually mean? In one complete rotation of the wheel, it covers a distance which is equal to the circumference of the wheel. So distance covered will be equal to circumference of the wheel, right? Because in one, if, if you start from this point, so by the time it covers this much distance, that is nothing but the circumference of the wheel, right? So in one, so what is the circumference of this wheel? Let us first find out the circumference of the wheel. So for this particular wheel, the circumference would be 2 pi r, that is 2 into 22 by 7 into r is 28 centimeters. So this is equal to 7 fours are 28. So this would be 44 into 4, which is equal to 176. So this is 176 centimeters. Now here the distance is given in meters. So let us convert this also in meters. So 176 divided by 10 meters, which is sorry, divide by 100 meters, which is 1.76 meters. So this is the circumference of the wheel. So now, to cover 1.76 meters, the number of rotation, how many times the wheel rotates? The wheel rotates one time because it was just one rotation where it covers a distance equal to the circumference. That means to cover this much distance, that is the circumference, it rotates one time. Therefore, to cover 352 meters, how many times it would rotate? It would rotate 
352 divided by 1.76. So now when you calculate this, it comes out to be 200. Therefore, it needs to rotate for 200 times in order to cover 352 meters. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.